Okay guys, so Friday the 3rd of February, we have the weightlifting test um, to start session two. That's gonna be 20 minutes to build to a max in both a hang snatch and a clean plus hang clean. So like you did in the quarterfinals last year, you had just a block of time and you could divide that up however you wanted between the different lifts. Um, but once you start with the hang snatch, you start your clock, you start building to your hang snatch. Once you move to cleans, you can't go back to the snatch. So you need to use the time wisely, know how long you need for both. I would suggest that because you've warmed up a lot before you start your clock, maybe you warm up to about 50, uh, at least 50%, but maybe more like 70%, start your clock. You don't need as much time on the hang snatch. Um, you also don't need as much rest in between lifts with that movement. So I would say using seven or eight minutes on the hang snatch, and then you got uh, then at least 10 minutes, but more like 12 minutes to go with the clean hang clean, because that's the least less warm movement and it's the more draining movement. So you need more rest in between your lifts as well. Um, so make sure you're smart um, with your time there. And then uh, putting your scores into the leaderboard. I think it's just nice at this stage that you'll see there's a lot of leaderboards this week and I'm gonna start including them more in the season program. There's not as many athletes on the season compared to the compete. So you're not gonna get loads of scores to compare against, but now is a good time to know that there is a leaderboard attached and it just holds you a little bit more accountable. Um, you'll get to see where you're at. Don't be too stressed. Let's say you come fifth out of six scores. The people on this program are, are very good. And when you filter in thousands of other scores, like it will be in quarterfinals, you're not going to be second to last, like you would be fifth out of six, six people. Um, so don't get too stressed about that. Just focus on where you're at um, in terms of actual numbers, not placing in comparison to the group um, and know what you need to work on. But I think mostly the leaderboard is there um, just to keep you a little bit accountable and get used to having to put a score into a leaderboard because that's a different type of pressure than just doing the work and then it's done and it doesn't matter anymore, okay? So just adding that little bit of extra external pressure uh, to the things you do over the next few weeks.